Hi there, this is Jamie from Creations Misfit, and today I'm going to show you how to make a bulky waffle stitch blanket. Now, I'm using a super bulky yarn. Um, you can use any size yarn, really. It doesn't have to be a bulky yarn. You can use a size 4, you can use a size 3. The waffle stitch is the same no matter what size you use. But I used super bulky, so that's what I'll show you with. And it also kind of shows up on camera a little bit better. So if you'd like to uh, make one that looks like the one I made, then you'll need a size super bulky yarn. This is a size 6. And the yarn I used is Sprightly Super Bulky Acrylic from um, Blueprint, and I'm using the colors white and pewter. And I used a size 8 millimeter crochet hook, and then you'll also need a yarn needle to sew in your ends, and a pair of scissors. I'm not going to make the whole blanket on film because it's just such an easy repeat. So I'll just show you a little swatch and then you can make it however big you want or however small you want. I made a baby blanket, but it was actually pretty large. I think it was about, um, I don't know, maybe three and a half by four feet or something like that. It was a pretty big crib blanket, but you can make these as, as large or as small as, as you'd like. So go ahead and get a slip knot. Or make a slip knot and the pattern repeat for this is um, chaining four so you're going to want to chain four as many times as you want for the length of your blanket so just keep chaining one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four until you have the or I'm sorry the width of your blanket and um, and then you'll chain one at the end of that. So I'm just going to do a little swatch. So I'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, maybe I'll do four more. Thirteen, fourteen. 15 and 16. So go ahead and pause the video if you need to and make your chains across. This will be for the width of the blanket. And then come back and we will go from there. <clears throat> so if you've finished your chains, you uh, uh, your sections of four, then you want to chain one more at the very end. And that's for everybody, no matter how many you do. All right, so from here, we are going to double crochet in the fourth chain from our hook. So you want to look at your hook or your chains here. There's one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four here. And go ahead and double crochet into that fourth chain. Those three that we skipped are going to count as the first double crochet. So you'll actually have two here. And then you're just going to place one double crochet in every stitch all the way across your blanket. So you can go through and just double crochet across. I hope this white yarn is showing up okay on camera. If I do something too dark, it's hard to see the stitches. So anyways, go ahead and double crochet all the way across and pause the video and then we will meet back up. Alright, you should have your double crochets all the way across now. So from here, we're going to chain up three. One, two, three, and turn our work. And this chain three is going to count as a double crochet. Now this simple pattern is just uh, two rows of repeat for the entire thing. So the back will be flat, uh, kind of flat, and the front will be um, where you have your you know, where the waffles show up. So um, I'll just show you as we go here. Now, we're, for this row, um, we're going to be doing front and back post double crochets. If you're unfamiliar with that, I do have a video tutorial for it, and I'll put it in the description box below. I'll show you quickly here, but if you need a longer um, description or tutorial, you can go and watch that one. But it's pretty simple. It's just a regular double crochet, and instead of going through the stitch at the top, we go around the post. So for this uh, round two, we have our first double crochet here, which is the chain three. And now we're going to do a front post double crochet around the next post. 
So not this one on the end, but the very next one. And to do a front post double crochet, you just yarn over like you're doing a re regular double crochet. And then you go behind this post and come back up on the other side of it. You see that there? That's how you do front post. And then you just finish your double crochet. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. So that's a front post. Now for the next three stitches, we're going to do back post double crochets. So for a back post, here's our next post that we want to go through right there. Okay, we already went through this one, or went around this one in the front. We're going to go around this one in the back. So you yarn over and you come up through the back to go around the post. And then you go around the post and you end up in the back. So that's what the back should look like. And that's what the front should look like. And then just yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, just like a regular double crochet. So we're going to do two more back post double crochets. So yarn over, come up through the back and around and end up in the back. That's how you know it's back post. You end up in the back with front post, you end up in the front. Yarn over and pull through pull through two, pull through two. Okay, so we have two back post double crochets. We need one more in the next post here. Yarn over, come through the back, yarn over, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. All right, the next one is gonna be a front post. So yarn over, go through, and end up in the front. Yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. And then we're just repeating that. One front post, three back posts. So the next one is going to be a back post. And it does seem a little awkward when you first get started, but you'll find your rhythm with it, and pretty soon you're just doing them with no problem at all. There's two back posts and one more because we need three. back post, one front post, three back. Now the next one's going to be a front. And you can tell which ones you went through because it's gone, you know, sometimes you might have to look at the back just to make sure, but it's pretty easy to tell once you're going, especially with a bulky yarn, they're really easy to, um, to find your way. So that's front. And now we're going to do three back posts. So one back post sorry I'm trying to pull my yarn here and it's stuck okay just two back posts and there's the third now your project will be bigger than mine but when you get all the way to the end here you can see what this looks like so far and it, it's actually um, different on the other side you'll see so when we get um, to the end we'll have two left and what you want to do is do a front post around the next just like you would in the pat in the repeat that we're doing one front post and then you have to get into that last one and that's going to be just a regular double crochet in the very last stitch so go into that last one You'll always end up with a double crochet in the last stitch. So make sure that um, that you have one left at the end. If you don't, if your last one is a front post or something like that, then you've missed a stitch. Okay, so you just do the repeat pattern for row two of one um, front post, three back post. One front post, three back post, one front post, three back post. When you get to the last two stitches, you'll have one front post and then just do a regular double crochet in the end. So if you need to pause the video, go ahead and do that and finish up. Otherwise, we will move on to round three. And for this, we're going to chain up three again, turn your work, and now we're going to just kind of follow, um, see there's a back post, or I'm sorry, there's a uh, 
what looks like a back post here, which was the front post on the other side. So for the very first one, we're going to do a back post, double crochet, so that it stays even with the one that we did a front post on the other side. See how that just works up nicely? And then we're going to do um, a double crochet, just regular double crochets in the next three stitches, which are the front, or they were back posts on the other side, but here they're front posts. So just do a double crochet, regular one in through the top of the stitch here in the next three. And then we're going to go and do a back post again. So you go around the post in the back to keep it uniform. And then the next three will be regular double crochets. And that's the repeat for this row. And as you can see, it makes it flat in the back. And in the front is where your uh, waffles will be. Okay, so two more here. all the way across and then around the front or I'm sorry around the back back post and then three regular double crochets these rows go really quickly because you're not worried about going around so many posts which isn't a problem it doesn't take very long to do that but it's just a little bit quicker to go through the tops of the stitches okay and then at the end you'll do one um, last back post here around the back post and it's really easy to see what you need to do because the posts are there okay and then you'll have one stitch left which is that chain three that we started with in round two and you'll have to do a double crochet into the top of that chain three stitch just a regular double crochet because remember every row is going to end with a double crochet Okay, so that's what it should look like in the back. And this is the wrong side of the project. Um, this is the, the side that will be more flat. So basically from here, you're just going to chain up three and you're gonna repeat rows two and three for your entire project. So you can make it as long as you want. Um, the, if you remember row two, you just, the first chain three counts as a, um, a double crochet which will be on the end here and then the first one you just go through and do a front post and you can see now where your posts will be so it'll be really easy to tell and you can tell the next three you're gonna have to do back post so next three will be back post I'll just do this row with you and then I'll show you how to change color if you'd like. And then front post, you can just do your work along with me if you'd like or pause the video or fast forward. <laughs> if you have any comments um, that are kind and uh, helpful or um, if you'd like to see anything else um, I can make videos for other things but please leave a comment down below if this helped you at all or if you have any suggestions for me um, I'm just starting out with my YouTube channel and I can use all the help I can get I'd like to make a lot more content for crocheters because I basically learned about a year and a half ago on uh, YouTube videos they're really helpful for me so I'd like to give back and be able to help others as well all right, so now we came up to the end and we did that last front post. And remember, you have to end with a regular double crochet into that chain three. Sometimes it's kind of hard to tell. Just remember that you chained up three. So go into the top chain and do a regular double crochet. Now there's a couple of different ways. If you want to change your color, um, I did several rows of white and then I did some gray and and so on like that. So if you'd like to change your color, there's a couple of different ways. You can either... This is how I change a lot of time. I do this last stitch and pull through two 
and then I grab my new yarn grab my gray and I finish the stitch with gray and then just kind of pull tightly on both of those and I'll chain up with chain up three with my gray turn my work and then you can either leave your ends to sew in later you can cut the white I'm not gonna cut it cuz I'm just gonna pull this out but you can um, leave your ends to cut up or to sew in later or I just wrap them around usually and start sewing them in with my stitches because that way I don't have to do all those loose ends at the end so from here, our, our next row, row uh, repeat of row three, we start with a back post. So I would go around the post, make sure I'm grabbing those yarns in the back. And then the next three are going to be regular double crochets. So I'm going to just go into the top of these stitches and put these behind so that they come along with me. And it's really up to you if you want to do it that way. And I just take them along with me for the ride <laughs> for, I don't know, maybe up through here or something. Just because this is a bulkier yarn, so I want to make sure that it stays. But if you don't want to do that, you can also, um, you can cut your yarn here after you've done your last double crochet at the end. I don't want to cut this yarn because, like I said, I'm just going to pull it out. But you can cut your yarn here. And then just reattach your next color, your gray or whatever it is. Do a slip knot. Let's just say I want to reattach here. And then you'll just put it in here and do a, uh, that's going to come apart. You'll just put it in there and do a slip stitch to fasten it. And then you can cut a little bit of tail for your white and leave it or sew it in as you go and then just go from there either way is fine um, they both work equally well so that's the waffle stitch blanket again just remember that you start with um, chains of four and then add one at the very end so um, thank you so much for watching and if you do make this blanket and you're on Instagram I would love to see uh, how you did and what colors you chose and everything so if you can tag me my Instagram is at creations misfit and thank you so much for watching. Please like subscribe if you'd like to see more and comment below. Thank you. Have a great day.